We're now going to give an approximation algorithm for the multi-way cut problem. So what's the multi-cut problem? We have a connected graph. Is a connected graph with positive edge rates. Let's have positive edge rates here. And we have a set of terminals. So dedicated vertices called terminals. Let's say we have these three terminals. A multi-way cut is now a subset of the edges such that no two terminals are connected in the graph that we get if we remove those edges. Yeah, so we want to find a set of edges that we can remove so that the terminals are not in the same connected components. And of course, if we don't make any more requirements, we could simply take all of the edges. This would be a multi-way cut. But of course, that is not what we would like to have. What we would like to have is a min cost, a min sum of costs, multi-way cut. If you look at this example, what would be a min cost cut? So the following edges give us a min cost cut. I take the two edges down here, those two edges, and those two edges, and the sum here is 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1, 13, and that is a min cost. All of these are in different connected components after removing the cut edges or after removing the green edges. So there is a special case that can be solved in polynomial time, namely the case k is 2. So if k is 2, we speak of a min st cut. And if you know flow algorithms, then you know max flow min cut. And then you know that this can be solved in polynomial time with any polynomial time flow algorithm. But for k larger than 2, so larger equals 3, this problem is NP-hard, and therefore we want to have an approximation algorithm. So we're going to make use of the fact that this case, k equals 2, is polynomial time solvable, and we're going to use this in combination with isolating cuts. So what is an isolating cut? The isolating cut for a terminal Ti is one that disconnects this terminal from all other terminals. So here, this is an isolating cut because I have Ti in one component, and all, all other terminals are not in that component. Among each other, they could be in one component. And we can compute a minimum isolating cut efficiently. You have an idea how? So we're going to reduce it to min st cuts. So, but for this, we have to make sure that this min st cuts forces these terminals to be disconnected from this one. So let's call this one. This will take the role of t. And then we need an s. So we're going to make a dummy vertex s. And this dummy vertex S, I'm going to connect to all of the terminals. And now to make sure that the cut does not cut through these edges, I'm going to give them very large weight. Let's call this weight infinity. And now an ST cut will separate S from T, I, and because S cannot be separated from these terminals. It will in particular also cut between Ti and all of the other terminals. And this is now an ST cut, so we can find it efficiently. Now let's see what our algorithm does. The algorithm is very simple. For every Ti, we compute a min cost isolating cut, a cut that isolates Ti from all other terminals. Now we're going to take the union of those and to save a little bit, we're going to take the union of the k minus 1 cheapest isolating cuts. In other words, we're taking the union but we ignore the most expensive cut. And why is that fine if we ignore the most expensive one? So or it's fine simply to ignore one of them because the k minus 1 other ones already made sure that all of the k minus one vertices separa are separated from all other vertices. But if this is true for k minus one, then it's also true for the case one. And why do we ignore one? Because this reduces our cost. More specifically, if you now take a look at this union minus the most expensive one and compare it to the sum of all of the isolating cuts, 
Here I can get a bound which has an extra factor of 1 minus 1 divided by k here. And why is that the case? I mean, I assume c1 is the most expensive one just for illustration purposes. The cost of c1 is then at least 1 divided by k times the overall sum, because otherwise if the most expensive one would have cost smaller than this, then the sum of all the costs would be smaller than the total sum. So essentially the largest one has to be at least as large as the average. So this is again pigeonhole principle. Okay, so now we have something of cost 1 minus 1 divided by k times this sum. Now we have to bring this sum in relation to the optimal cost, to the op cost of the optimal multi-way cut. And what we're going to show is that we overall get a factor of 2 minus 2 divided by k. So this is 2 times and then the 1 minus 1 divided by k, which we already saw. So what we essentially have to figure out is how to get this 2. For this, we consider an optimal multi-way cut. Let's call it A. And let's say it cuts in this way. So A decomposes my graph into these components, kappa j or terminal tj. And then there is this cut in green. And let me call ai the edges of my cut A that have one vertex in component kappa i, so with terminal i, and the other vertex in one of the other components. So in particular, ai is an isolating cut for ti. And likewise, we have aj, and so on. So what we can observe, so this so far has nothing to do with the algorithm, just with the optimal cut. What we can observe for the optimal cut is it is a union of the AI, but while taking this union, we're actually counting edges several times. If you look at my AI here and my AJ, I count the edges multiple times that start in I and end in J. So every edge is counted twice in this union, or occurs twice in this union, meaning that if I look at the sum of the costs of these cuts, because in this sum every edge occurs twice, this is two times the cost of the cut A itself. And this was opt, so this is two opt. Yeah, so now we have A as a union of isolating cuts, and we know that the sum of those isolating cuts, or cost of those isolating cuts, is bounded by two times opt actually is exactly two times up. And now we can compare this to our cut here. So our cut consisted of k minus one isolating cuts, but if we we can bound it simply by one minus one divided by k, sum of the isolating cuts for each of the terminals. If I look at a C at the cost of C i, that's a min isolate min cost isolating cut. And but C A I is simply an isolating cut for terminal T I. So what I have is that C C I is smaller or equal C A I. Therefore the sum here is smaller or equal the sum of the costs of the A I's. Now this is equals two times C A or two times opt. And this gives me an approximation factor. So if I multiply the two into here, this gives me exactly the approximation factor that was claimed. Now let's see, is the analysis tight? So yes, it is again. Our example is a complete graph on K vertices, which we are now going to modify. So these, I, I take the complete graph on K vertices and make the, um, the vertices here my terminals. And now I'm going to split every edge. Uh, on each edge, I'm going to place another vertex. And I'm going to make the cost of all the edges in this new graph 1. So this is now my graph, my input graph. And now let's look at isolating cuts. So if I want to isolate this one here, natural isolating cut takes this edge, this edge, that edge. 
So this isolating cut has cost, in my example, 3 or more generally k minus 1. Of course, the degree here in a complete graph with k vertices is k minus 1. And of course, for so this is the first cut that I'm going to take. Here's another one. It again has cost k minus 1. Another one. And the last one would also be three edges here, but that most expensive one I drop, and because they all have the same cost, I would take those three. So the algorithm would give me something. So for k of the k minus one of the vertices, I would get cost of k minus one. So this is what my algorithm gives me. In contrast to that, if you look at the optimal solution, so the optimal solution essentially just needs to pick for every of the original edges, so let's say this is my one of my original edges, I just need to pick either this one or that one, and that's okay. So then I have to calculate how many original edges here I have. Okay, that's easy, it was the one way to calculate it. Start with one vertex, there I have k minus one um, for those original vertices, so I take three edges into the cut. Now for the next one I only need two, because for the first one I already have it. 1 here, 0 there, so this is a sum here. i goes from 1 to k minus 1 over i, to, of i. And this then simply is k times k minus 1 half. So this is simply the arithmetic sum. And it adds up to this. And now if I divide this from this here by that, k minus 1 disappears. I have k minus 1 divided by k divided by 2, so 2 times k minus 1 divided by k, so this is exactly the 2 minus 2 divided by k that I wanted to have. So the analysis is tight. Now we can again ask, are there better algorithms? And here there are also, again, better algorithms and actually quite impressive approximation ratios. So the best algorithm has this approximation ratio of essentially 1.29, and there is a fairly strong lower bound of 1.2, so this is already quite close to each other. So let's wrap up. What we've seen is this algorithm, very simple, just compute min cost isolating cuts using min st cuts and throwing one away and the union taking the union of the other ones and we've seen that this gives me a 2 minus 2 divided by k. Approximation algorithm for a multi-way cut problem.